the leatherback sea turtle. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time for a game of table tennis, Hero. Okay, Hero, I will serve the ball first. Here I go. Oh, almost, Hero. What is it, Hero? More balls? How did they get here? Oh my, what's happening? It's a baby turtle. So these aren't balls, they're eggs. Do you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now smile, little one. Katie, are you there? We found eggs in our garden and one of them hatched. It's a baby turtle. Hi, Leo. That's a sea turtle. What a cute one. Can you find more information about it? You can count on me. Great. And coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend and the eggs. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. What information did you find about the baby sea turtle? Hi, Leo. There are seven types of sea turtles. This one is a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle is named for its shell. It doesn't have a hard bony shell like other sea turtles have. Instead, its shell is covered with skin which feels like rubber or like leather. The leatherback sea turtle can also dive deeper than any other sea turtle. Leatherbacks eat small sea creatures but what they mostly eat is their favorite food, jellyfish. Unfortunately, they sometimes find plastic bags in the sea and mistake them for jellyfish, so they eat the plastic bags. This is one of the reasons why the leatherback sea turtle is in danger. Oh no! People should not throw their garbage in the seas. Absolutely, Leo. Especially because the leatherback can be found in almost every sea worldwide. Male leatherbacks never leave the water, but female leatherbacks will leave the water to lay her eggs at the beach. I see. We should bring the baby sea turtle and the eggs back to their nest at the beach. Great idea, Leo. That's their best chance for survival. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the beach, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a sea turtle and some unhatched sea turtle eggs. Yes, Ranger Rocky. These eggs are from a leatherback sea turtle. That's great, Leo. Unlike land turtles or tortoises, the sea turtle cannot pull its head and legs into its shell. Sea turtles have flippers, which are permanently fixed outside their shells. However, this does help the sea turtle swim very fast and very well. The leatherback sea turtle can reach the age of 50 or even 100 years old. But for the sea turtle to grow old, it has a lot of challenges to overcome. As small babies, they have a lot of predators in the open seas. Even when they are still in their eggs, there is the danger of other animals trying to eat the eggs. When the female sea turtle lays her eggs on the beach, she disturbs the sand to hide the nest from predators. Remember, they choose sandy beaches to lay their eggs because their soft shells are easily damaged by rocks. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! 
So let's see what we can find. Here's a beach with a lot of rocks. And on this side is a sandy beach. Hmm, the sand looks disturbed. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a rocky beach. And over there is a sandy beach with disturbed sand. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the sandy beach because leatherback sea turtles prefer sandy beaches and they disturb the sand to hide their nests. Let's go! Look! Baby Turtle is trying to make it for the sea. Oh no! Raccoons! No, you can't have these eggs! It's too dangerous here, little one. Let's run! What can we do, Leo? I sense trouble, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! Raccoons are trying to get the baby sea turtle and the sea turtle eggs. Raccoons dislike bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Good luck! I have an idea. Let's try to make some noise with those smelly dustbin lids. Hopefully, that will scare the raccoons away. Great idea, Katie. And there is Hero to help. They're finally gone. The eggs and the baby turtle are safe again. Now, where can we find the sea turtle's nest? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Sometimes crabs called ghost crabs try to steal eggs from sea turtles' nests so they can eat the eggs. So if you want to find the sea turtle's nest, just look for ghost crabs. Not for yellow cabs or country flags, but look for ghost crabs. I see. So not for yellow cabs or country flags, but, but look, look for, for ghost, ghost crabs. crabs. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the sea turtle's nest, you have to look for ghost crabs. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be ghost crabs. Are those ghost crabs? Hmm, no, those are seashells. So let's continue. What is that? It's a starfish. How interesting. But better look somewhere else. What are those? <gasps> those are ghost crabs. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Shoo, crabs! <laughs> Good luck, little friend. Look, the eggs are hatching. Goodbye, everybody. We did it. We found the sea turtle's nest. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> We found a baby sea turtle and eggs in our garden. We learned that they are leatherback sea turtles. They have soft shells and prefer sandy beaches to lay their eggs. So we brought the eggs back to the sea turtle's nest and the baby sea turtles found their way to the sea. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished.